Hello everyone, sorry for the really random like intro here, but we are currently in Bali. That is what this vlog is gonna be. You'll kind of see, I'll go back to the beginning of like when we started traveling here anyway, just so you've got a bit of context, but it's beautiful, it is hot. I thought I would split up the Thailand and the Bali vlog so it wasn't super, super long. Hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed. Now let's rewind a day. And just like that, we're in Bali. I didn't vlog anything on the flights and stuff just because we didn't have like tons of time. We had to get some food, go to the toilet, blah, 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 catch the next flight. But we're here, we're safe and sound I'm with Beth. So this is technically a hostel, but again, we've booked private rooms and they do have like shared accommodation and stuff. But it's kind of like jungle vibes and there's like a little pool and stuff outside, which I don't know, I wasn't expecting. The rooms smell a bit damp. Beth made a point of saying, obviously, there's no like open windows or windows in here. It's just kind of like the doors, but like there is still air that obviously comes through. Who is there? Hello, friends. Hello, friends. How are you? We literally haven't been here long, yeah. half an hour. We're just vlogging. Just I'm updating I'm the dying. gang. So we're here for three nights. Find out that we actually get free dinner, which I said to Beth, like it's weird that they give us dinner but not breakfast. Yeah. Like why would you not just give free breakfast? Why dinner? It's probably cheaper to would it be like, do you think it's like a buffet? Yeah, it is. You just choose. They put it, usually put it on the table. Oh, we might have to make some friends. I'll show you outside in a sec and maybe what we eat. Because I have no idea what Indonesian food is like. I just tried to TikTok some stuff and nothing really came up. This is literally like outside the room. And there's the pool there. Ooh. I don't know where they've gone. Oh, there they are. Yeah, it's a cute little... I'm not sure I'd get in it. Doesn't look the most clean. God, it's really steep. We've got to go all the way up to the roof. Cheers! dinner is like. Have you eaten anything else apart from the prawn cracker yet? I really do. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> prawn cracker. Good morning everyone. This is the pool in the day and my camera is getting steamy. We are all awake. We're back up where we were last night to get some breakfast and they have a super food bowl with fruit. This is from Skims if anyone saw my it was an Instagram reel I posted. These look delicious. It was called a superfood bowl, but it's basically like granola, yogurt, dragon fruit, and other fruit. And I'm guessing they make it. Do you think this is like a dragon fruit kind of like puree, yeah. like yeah, acai thing? Look how unreal that water looks. We've got some lounges. The waves are massive. I just want to go and paddle my feet in a minute. Hello everyone. It is definitely a good few hours later since we were at the beach. We were there till about five. -ish. I'd say we had a really nice day. I have definitely caught the sun a little bit, but it's fine. It'll go brown, as I'm telling myself. I actually did wash my hair with the shower water. I know a lot of people are obviously really, really skeptical about the shower water in Bali and like you see TikToks and stuff of people saying just be careful with it. We all actually washed our hair with the water so I'm hoping it'll be okay. We're only going to wash it a couple of times. We've chucked a load of product in it just to try and keep it hydrated. But they had no hair dryers in the hotel so Beth just had to put my hair in plaits again because I cannot do it for myself. But we've come out to something called Nourish which is like a 10 minute walk from our hostel up the road and kind of, I guess this is like the center kind of roads in Oluwatu, if that's how you say it. But this is a really nice place. Hello. It's called Nourish. There's a few other places around here, but this place has like juices, smoothies, pizzas, burgers, wraps, salad bowls. I might actually force myself to eat a salad bowl because I feel like all I've eaten is like chips and burgers. I've got a glow juice which is healthy, some water, 
This is my grilled chicken poke bowl. Very excited to mix all this up together. I'm not even going to focus on my face because I'm lying. I don't even know if you can hear me right now. <laughs> me and Alana have come to the face office where we just were. It's all packed. Beth and Meg went home. Meg's not been feeling too great. This place is like really cool but really weird. <laughs> it's all like jungle. People playing games like Mario Kart over there, mini golf, there's a tattoo super. Good morning everybody. We are up. Uh, we and Alana did not get back until half one. Yeah. Half one. Beth was luckily still awake um, to come and open the door because we forgot. Like we would have just like banged on the door, but um, my reception to actually get into like the hostel area there's a main door that they lock after like eight yeah. years yeah. Oh, a bit later than that i don't know but luckily beth was awake and she did come and open that because me and alana were literally running down the road with this guy who just got off a bike and he's like don't don't lock it wait for us well, we had a great night we did met some very strange people uh, but we were dancing to the Bengal boys on the dance floor and we'd only had like Three sliders? Yeah. What a great time. And then it, it turned 12 o'clock, midnight, and the DJ was done. But then everyone was still kind of like mingling in there. So we did sit down for a while and ended up talking to an Irish man, an Australian man, and an American man who was very, very odd. The Irish man was quite nice and friendly to chat to. We were at a cafe up the road from our hostel called Salty Coffee. Got a waffle with fruit, best got a bowl, what was it? A bowl. Smoothie, smoothie bowl. bowl. Got a nice latte. Meg's not feeling too great again this morning, so she's not come with us. So I think the girls are gonna get us fresh fruit. Wow, that is super, super bright. But we are actually at the, is it just one temple here? The Uluwatu temple? Yeah. But apparently there's like this really big fire dance that they do, I think every evening. Yeah. We went to the beach earlier and we came back and we were by the pool for a bit, just chilling, went and got some food from the rooftop and then got ready quickly. And here we are, we've got to wear these little sash things or a lot of other people that don't have long like trousers or skirts have to wear a sarong to cover like their knees and stuff. We are sat in, this isn't the temple, this is like where the fire dance. Yeah, a bit of an eventful evening with some monkeys trying to steal people's phones and glasses. Not ours. No, luckily not ours. This girl, oh my god, in, like their phone nearly dropped off the cliff because the monkey nearly like, dropped it. Me and dropped it. literally watched it happen in slow motion. Yeah, it was terrifying. But yeah, we went up into like the temple bit. There was loads of monkeys there, so we kind of like didn't really walk past them. A little bit sketchy, but now we are sat here. So we're sat. Loads of people. day or so i can't even remember when i last filmed i think it was probably yesterday evening when we were at the ape club it wasn't a club it was like a bar restaurant place 
Food was really good though. But we had to get up this morning at like quarter past six. We got picked up at seven from our hostel and got taken to the ferry port harbour. Um, kind of like at the top of top to the side of Bali. We are in Gili T, which is one of the islands. So it was like a two hour drive up to the, the harbour place and then two to two and a half hours to Gili T's harbour. And then we had a 10 minute walk to our hotel where we are now. It's got a pool. Beth and Lana have gone in the pool down there. Me and Meg were just absolutely boiling. She's just gone in the shower. I've just had a shower because we were sweating. It is so, so warm. And obviously we had our bags on our backs and had to walk for 10 minutes. Like we haven't really had to walk too far with our bags before because we had like grab taxis or whatever it was to pick us up. But there's no roads here. There's no cars. They literally use bikes, electric bikes and horse and carriage or they walk, which is a bit crazy um but the island is obviously very very small and i'm excited to explore it we just got some bikes and now we're at this coffee shop that i found someone recommending on tiktok called coffee and time and they have smoothie bowls pancakes they have avocado and eggs i'm a little bit stuck but we rode bikes here which was quite fun i haven't rode a bike in many years food has arrived. Me and Alana got little smoothie bowls again. Beth got some eggs. Got a iced hazelnut latte was the first thing. Thank you. Which is actually really lovely. We have just been cycling on these bikes. Basically, I think we've probably done half the island, right? Yeah. Like technically from one part to the other. Um, just having a little look at like what's around. We watched the most beautiful sunset whilst we were riding and now we've come to this pink cocoa club that looks so cute <laughs> this looks so cute you guys honestly was too scared to get my camera on my phone out while i was riding the bikes i probably would have fallen off but i'll show you this now it looks i mean there's loads of people sat on like bean bags watching the sunset but look how are oh, beth on the camera this still looks so cool it's a proper like gradient Look how unreal. Got some sangria for gals. How beautiful is that? Good morning from Paradise. We have come to Skinny Dip Beach Club, which was like a 10 minute bike ride. It is so hot today. So, so hot. We had breakfast this morning and we were trying to debate whether to do snorkeling today or come and like see the beach and come to a beach club and like lie in the sun. Um, but Meg did want to do a snorkeling. So we're gonna see how she feels tomorrow. So she might come and do that tomorrow. So we're lying by the beach today. I think we're gonna go, well, I say by the beach, we're actually obviously at a beach club. There's a pool by there and then the beach is over there, but it's not the best beach. I'm having a great day. I've got a really nice bikini on from Zaffo actually. One of my favorite new ones that I've got. Happy girly. I think I'm gonna go join Beth in the pool. I don't really know if I want to take my camera up at the pool. They've just ordered a strawberry, pineapple, and passion fruit juice. Beth is like right there. But it's a, a thin pool that goes like all the way around. And I think it is a hotel, like a restaurant. We have come to the cinema. Just had some food. I had some tacos which I've just polished off there. And we're waiting for Barbie to start in like 15 minutes. The girls, Meg's come out for this evening. She's finally left the room. Oh my god, it's a really exciting event. <laughs> what I was supposed to do for you back here, it feels right. Okay. I have not brought my camera out because we are near water. We're going snorkeling with the girls. And we've got flippers. And we're going to have snorkels and Fingers crossed we're going to see turtles. We're going to look like this when we've got snorkels on. Like Alana was like this really chic. Doing a fly 
fly high yoga up in the studio. Oh, there they are. Beth and Alana have just turned up. You can see them down there. That's cute. High heel. Lean back, other side. Oh, yeah? Yes, open the leg. <laughs> open like a leg. Wait, open. Keep your toes, relax like your leg. Ah, you like it. <laughs> Good morning everybody. I feel like I didn't really vlog anything yesterday because we went on the snorkeling trip and I didn't want to take my camera when we were on a little boat that Beth was clearly convinced the whole time was going to capsize. <laughs> it was quite funny. I think I filmed some clips on my phone landscape that I can maybe insert that you would have seen. Just checked out of our hotel had some breakfast and we've actually decided to go for a massage before we get on the ferry later a full body massage 45 minutes was a hundred indonesian rupiah which is like i don't know five pound which is insane little baby goats i mean there's chickens everywhere around here also thought i would just show you reality of like well not reality but obviously we post like all the beaches and the like aesthetic things that we end up doing. And I did film on my phone the other day, but like this is like the streets that you walk or you bike down. You literally walk down all these like roads like this where we come for tourism. This is how they live. Guys, we just saw more baby goats. Look how small they are. The gals have arrived, Cage and Chloe. And the first thing they're doing is, is just is it cold? Is it cold? Yeah. It's a bit cold, yeah. but it'll be it's refreshing. Tomorrow. Probably. Ah! <laughs> hey, Jojo. Hey, Jojo. Hey, Jojo. Hey, Jojo. I'm not very good swimmer. Oh, so it's shallow at the other end. You. Good morning everybody. This quality is so much better than probably the last clip that I put in of these two idiots jumping in the pool last night. Hello. <laughs> they arrived yesterday, not too long after we did, but we're all up. Well, Meg's in the room, she's coming out now. We're waiting for our breakfast. We're getting it brought to the villa, which is fancy. So, see, I woke up hungry. Again, even though we yeah. ate pizza last night, I woke up hungry. This is I had watermelon on the plane bag. Breakfast spread. I'm gonna oh. eat watermelon. It's actually quite good. <laughs> Some juice. Good morning. We have come to you probably see it sounds really busy, Paige. We're coming to the rice terraces. I don't know if it's gonna focus, I'll turn it around in a second. Our driver just dropped us off, but like the cool swings and stuff are down there that you can take photos in. Um, and like you can cycle across a like, zip line thing. Yeah, that's like all the rice fields, it's huge. Nice! Looks really nice. Got a burger, quesadillas. I know, they all look yummy. <laughs> and some good music. So of course I had to get one of these long dresses for those swings. Oh, off she goes. Oh, I don't want to be by a tree. I love this loving life over there, wait there. Oh my god. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Now we're doing a zip line up there, <laughs> which is a good look. Me and the girls, apart from Meg, she stayed in. We've come out for food. Well, it's supposed to be to a place called Simply Social, but we've been taken into a, a, back, a back room, club room thing. Um, to get some food, although we are eating quite late. It is, it's quarter to 10, girls. Mm -hmm. It's quarter to 10. Yeah. We all really enjoyed the swing, and then four of us did the zip line as well, which was really, really fun. Came back, chilled out a little bit, 
just had a little regroup and now we've climbed some food. I mean, I don't know if I've eaten this late enough. Actually, we kind of ate late last night too, didn't we? Yeah. Bad habit, need to break out of this. <laughs> I can't remember what the actual dish was called, but it's basically fettuccine pasta with like garlic, chili, basil, cheese. And I didn't get any meat in it, I just wanted it plain. Paige got the same, Beth got chicken in it. Chloe's got a rather delicious looking pad thai. Pad thai. Pad thai, yeah, yummy. <laughs> Alana. I have no face. <laughs> Alana has nothing. I just realised that. What are you supposed to have? Butter chicken curry. Butter chicken. They've forgotten about you. And Beth has demolished this. Oh, are you amazing? That's the first time I've ever seen you eat so fast in my life. She's inhaled, and Alana's not even got her food yet. <laughs> oh so it's another warm morning in Ubud, and we're at the Kretia, Kretia, I don't know how you say it, day club with the pools and the rice field. This is cool. So we've been here for maybe like an hour or two and it's just quite busy and like we didn't reserve any beds or anything so like there's nowhere to sit yeah if you're thinking of coming definitely try and like reserve a bed or something because you're not going to be sat or have anywhere to kind of like lie in the sun it is really nice and cool and like chill vibe but I don't know. Obviously, we didn't really realise, and when we turned up, they said there's no reservations available for beds. After like a half an hour car journey, maybe we have made it to one of the waterfalls. It's not the one that we were originally going to go to. Because apparently, that's actually closed. Okay. Um, but we've come to another one, which is actually by the other day club that we were looking at. But look. <laughs> Um, to one of the temples in the town that's like next to a restaurant after our food I mean that's a bit of a pathetic attempt at stopping us from going down there I've been chilling out by the pool this morning got a bit of Bob Marley playing I don't know if I've actually showed you guys much of the villa in um, the daytime but Got a living area there, the kitchen's there, one room. That's where I've been staying. And we've got another room up there. Some of the girls have gone to a jewellery making class, which I've not felt great yesterday with my stomach actually, as I've probably been saying about Meg's not been feeling great. I didn't feel great with my stomach. But I feel okay now. So we've asked one of the drivers that have been picking us up whether we would take us to Changu which you can, but we can't fit all six of us and our luggage in a car, so we're going to have to get two cars. Sitting in this donut in the water because it is so hot just sunbathing. We have just arrived at our next villa in Changu. Look at the chandelier on it. Wow. Oh, our two drivers have been lovely the past few days. But they've, um, the two guys that were driving us around to different places both brought us in two cars here. They're making us some juice. Got it, so cool. It's lovely. We have come to a, I don't know what it's called, a cafe? A secret spot, that's what it's called. Yeah, it's not a secret. Yeah, we're in like a little area where the stairs going down. Look. At my smoothie bowl, dragon fruit, granola, bananas, strawberries, other berries. We'll do a taste oh. test with Paige. 
like You will like it. I mix it all together. But I, I don't, but <laughs> it's up to you. Oh, oh, Yummy. Okay, I thought I would give you guys. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I thought I would give you guys a little run through tour. This is like the size of one room. There's a bath in the bedroom. This is the bed. I've got a shower over there. Toilet. Then this is. This is Chloe and Alana's room that they've made like really messy. <laughs> Uh, goodbye. <laughs> With more of the gals at this whole kitchen area. That just looks beautiful. Obviously, you guys saw the pool. Bedroom. Through there. We've got a bathroom. They're all really, really big bedrooms, but it's just such a nice place. So we're here for two nights. We've come out this evening to a place called Alma Tapas Bar. And we also walked past Finns as well that we were close to. Just us for out tonight. Finns, Beach Bar, Changu. We've reserved a bed for the six of us. Cool. We've been chilling here for a little bit, having some drinks. I mean, I've had, I think this is my third drink. Just got some chips and pizza. Guys. I'm sorry that I literally hardly filmed anything yesterday at Finn's. We were there for like 12 hours nearly. It was crazy. It was so much fun. I literally was just saying on my Instagram stories, like, we had the best time. I don't know if I can see if, like, any of the girls saved any videos. We were literally just having the time of our lives, and it was so fun. Literally, like, danced the whole afternoon. Like we were there for a bit first, had a few drinks, we had some food, we were in the pool. Then the music starts going, they had the DJs on like all evening. There was like a dance floor in the middle. We were dancing in the pool, had drinks in the pool, music. Like and me and Alana were by ourselves for like a while and we were literally like being so childish, but literally having the best time just dancing. Like, it was quite weird though, cause we were saying like, obviously it's a day club so people did like you can bring kids and stuff there to one section of it and then like in the middle it's kind of like adults only and we're like more of the party drinking was going on so we left our stuff obviously on our beds which was safe and then we went over like to that part and kind of just like stayed in the pool over there watched the sunset go down but people started turning up in the evening with clothes on because obviously it's like a club so you come there to like dance and whatever but obviously people who've been there in the day are still in their swimming shorts and their bikinis and swimming costumes and stuff and then there's people that are clothed so like it's just a mixture i have got a towel on by the way dressed me in a shower did have quite a few drinks but not feeling too bad this morning had a lion had some breakfast we had pancakes so we've got an hour until we need to check out of here and head to the next villa which is in Seminyak, which is our last three nights in bali then we need to fly to jakarta stay there for a night ready for our flight from jakarta home guys i nearly left you in the other villa apparently I left my bum bag somewhere but we have just i say just maybe like half an hour ago got to the last villa of the trip sneak peek it's again huge really really cool and we're here for three nights before we fly to jakarta to go home i've just ordered us all i'm well not paying for it obviously but on my phone i just ordered a mcdonald's we've all got mcdonald's being delivered i'm gonna chill out by the pool i washed my hair obviously earlier it's gone super frizzy and stuff again i can't wait to go home and like sort it out so we've got a bed in the middle i've just unpacked my stuff here so cool two sinks shower and a toilet <laughs> it's bad Huge kitchen, dining. Really cool shower. Look at your stuff, obviously, in here. Again, out <laughs> two sinks, and then look at the size of this bath and shower. Our favourite thing is out here, the pool. The gals are already out sunbathing. Oh, amazing. Good morning. We are out for some breakfast. 
just four of us this morning because <coughs> Paige and Chloe have gone to do something with elephants. I had a lovely lie in this morning. I did not want to get out of bed. Oh. <laughs> Sake. Meg's brought up this stupid game that we've seen on TikTok. Check it out. Ooh. Two marshmallows. Two marshmallows. Check it out. Check it out. Three marshmallows. No. Where's the room? We've come out for breakfast, us three, to a place called Coffee Cartel. The others went on a snorkeling tour thing. But I've got a, a banana rama smoothie. We have normal breakfast here. It's 10 to 12. And then a burger. Some waffles. Oh. What are they? Look at that knife. We have come out earlier today for, I say dinner, but Alana has booked us like these bean bags on the beach to watch the sunset. It is so warm. No, thank you. I'm to sell you anything and everything. The gals. I've just been chilling today. Paige wasn't feeling too good earlier, bless her. It is so bright with the sun. I need to like hide under the umbrella. But today is our last like evening day on Bali because tomorrow we fly to Jakarta. <laughs> Me and Meg still have a photo bus home. I need sunglasses. We have another beautiful sunset across the beach that the girls are there in the sea. Oh my god, the water is slowly creeping up on us. I don't know if you'll see the sunset at all now, it's focused on me. The others have gone. My legs are all wet and we're gonna get sand on them now. This is where we've been sat in this whole array of colourful bean bags. But it's like the other beaches have some bean bags. Good morning, our last morning here. We've come to the same cafe we were at the other day. Just had our food. I've got a baguette today because I needed some bread. But yeah, we need to leave in like half an hour. We have landed in Jakarta, two hour flight. Just collected our bags. Because as I explained before, obviously we're flying from here tomorrow. So we're staying in a hotel. We've got all our bags on the trolley. Oh, there's another Starbucks. Oh, I still haven't got one, but I just don't want one. So guys, it's been a good few hours now since we got to this hotel. So our flight was fine. It was like a two hour flight. And apparently Jakarta's not the most safe city. Is it a city? Yeah. It's not the most safe city throughout like Indonesia and stuff. So we were all a little bit sketched out not that we were gonna go anywhere anyway but yeah this hotel like the pool on the rooftop is like all scum all over it and it oh no not nice then we went to go and ask about massages because they advertise that they've got a spa but chloe bless her chloe went and actually had chloe went and actually had a massage earlier and she just said it was just like the weirdest like experience not the greatest bless we know sat in our hotel room eating at mcdonald's the girls the other four have actually gone downstairs to eat food but i just thought nah i'm gonna stay in the room and have food here and then we've got to be up at like six in the morning maybe so we're there for like seven because our flight's at five past nine we are on the plane we sat next to each other because we waited to check in until we got to the airport we've got a first flight of basically eight hours we land in doha which is in qatar and then we've got another seven hours and 20 flights to london Heathrow. it's just me and meg on this flight the other girls have a flight later on this afternoon i've never been in Canto, so i think i should have you not oh meg you need to watch Canto. maybe i'll update you at some point on this flight maybe i won't but we should start hello everyone as you can tell I am home. I was absolutely shattered, but me and Meg obviously got home safe and sound. I think I got in just before 5 a.m. This was yesterday. Today is a new day. I obviously got the bus home. The bus was like three and a half hours maybe, but it stopped at Bristol. So we didn't know this at first. We were like, why, why is everyone getting off? The driver basically said like, 
it only goes to Bristol, everyone has to get off here and then get on a connecting bus, but that wasn't the case when I bought the ticket, I wasn't aware, so that was a bit weird, but then this other driver that was waiting to go somewhere else explained, like spoke to him and said apparently our original bus broke down, which would have gone all the way. So we actually got dumped on the side of the road with many other people and had to wait half an hour in the cold at half mm, at three in the morning wait half an hour until the other bus turned up to take us the rest of the way but luckily we were just one stop after so i am actually really glad to be home jack left some flowers downstairs and bought my favorite sweets and bought me the croissant pan au chocolats that i like we stayed in yesterday and watched a film and ordered a chinese i hope you guys enjoyed seeing what we got up to and coming along i'm really sorry if it was a little bit mishmashed and kind of all over the place there was definitely times where i just kind of was in the moment forgot to vlog or was just really tired and just wanted to like get on with it if we were traveling somewhere but yeah we all had the best time and you know maybe we'll go there again but if we don't it's like a once in a lifetime experience to go and see those places and it's definitely worth it but once again thank you so much if you have made it to the end of this video i hope you did enjoy both the thailand and the bali vlogs let me know if you have any questions about anything that we did anywhere that we stayed make sure you give the video a thumbs up and of course subscribe to my channel if you're not already it would mean the world to me and hopefully i'll see you in my next video